A different kind of use that I've made of Sakai is for our committee work. I'm chair of our master's committee here in the school, which is uh, responsible for setting policy for the master's program and also doing master's admissions. And the committee has basically used Sakai as its home base for all of our work. We essentially haven't printed anything. So I post the agenda for the meetings up there. If there's materials that we need to look at during the meetings, I post them up there. When I finish the minutes, those go up. So during a meeting, a typical master's committee meeting, we'll have Sakai open and we'll have the agenda open. And as we need resources, we can pull them up and discuss them and have them open. The other piece of the committee work has been the applications. And there again, we've been able to move completely to an electronic applications workflow through using Sakai where the applications are received by the student services staff. Once they're complete, they assign them to one of the faculty committee members to review. I'll read or write up comments. We forward those comments in the application, then we move it into another Sakai folder for our associate dean to review, and then a decision is made and it moves on from there. The nice thing about Sakai for that, again, is the granularity of the privacy settings so that only the faculty member uh, committee members can see the applications. There's two students on the committee, they can see everything else, but they don't see the applications. So that's been a very nice, flexible way to incorporate student members on a committee and have the committee be able to work effectively. We've been very happy with it.